the departure of any auto giant from our market is a sad event. Jobs are being eliminated, the choice of cars is becoming scarce, which is already not very diverse. After the General Motors concern practically curtailed its activities in Russia in 2015, the supply of mass-produced Chevrolet and Opel models was put to rest. And if some retired ahead of schedule almost at the end of their careers, others did not even live to see restyling. Among them is the second-generation Chevrolet Avio. Avio for our market and chalk is an extremely limited pool of modifications, unlike other markets. All cars were equipped only with a 1.6 gasoline engine. The hatchback was offered only with an automatic machine, although a sedan could also be bought with a manual transmission. Avio of the second generation was promptly put on the GAZ conveyor in Nizhny Novgorod, but for a short period of its Russian life it failed to gain special popularity, although it still occupied its niche and today boasts good liquidity in the secondary market. The body has no weak points subject to corrosion. Therefore, rust without traces of external influence, for example, on the arches or the trunk lid under the lining, will primarily indicate poor quality repairs after an accident or minor damage. The paintwork is not of high quality, this has long been a hallmark of the modern automotive industry, chips appear quite quickly, although they do not corrode for a long time. In general, the level of corrosion resistance of the avio body is above average when compared with classmates. Despite a significant reduction in the range of Chevrolet and Opel in Russia and even withdrawal from the market, spare parts for these cars are always available without interruption. Moreover, the market offers not only the whole range of original spare parts, but also a lot of solid substitutes. Solid blocks of the rear beam do not last long. After 60,000 kilometers, they begin to delaminate and tear. Because of this, the camber of the rear wheels goes into positive values and there is active tire wear. Original silent blocks are available as separate spare parts. Their replacement costs the same money. It is better to refrain from non-original ones, there are no worthy substitutes on the market yet. Avio rear shock absorbers have a modest resource after about 50,000 kilometers. They begin to leak due to the fact that the corroding rod quickly wipes the cuff. Also, up to 100,000 kilometers, the lower bushings of the shock absorber mounts to the beam are torn and, as a result, they are not available as separate spare parts, there are not even substitutes, so you have to change the shock absorber assembly. Unofficial service stations prefer to install non-original KY3 shock absorbers. Wunud, the price quality ratio is more advantageous compared to the factory ones. Front shock absorbers and their thrust bearings are rarely changed. The ball bearings and silent blocks of the apron of the levers also showed themselves well. Front stabilizer struts are consumables. Usually they do not withstand more than 50,000 kilometers. After several winters, due to exposure to reagents, heat shields on the exhaust line rot and begin to rattle. So far, it has not been noticed that in the absence of heat shields, one or another closely spaced rubber elements, for example, the anther of the inner CB joint of the right drive, suffer. A common avio sore is the rattling of the front brake caliper brackets. Often, even before 50,000 centimeters, the guide bushings break in them gap increases excessively and they begin to rattle strongly. To delay the replacement of the brackets, it is advisable to do a complete preventive maintenance of the brake mechanisms once a year with cleaning and lubrication of the guides. This applies to many related GM models. The classic power steering does not cause trouble. It is advisable to change the oil in it only once every 30,000 kilometers, as it gets dirty very quickly. The hydraulic rail is reliable and does not bother with knocks and bodies. Steering rods and tips are rarely changed, and the Avio, unlike the older Chevrolet Cruze model, does not have a power steering pump buzzing. A Avio is equipped with a 6-speed automatic transmission of the 6T30 series manufactured by GM. She is known for Chevrolet Cruze, Opel Astra J. This family, 6T30-6T40, has a reputation for being very capricious and unreliable. However, for many carrier models of these boxes released after 2012, the frequency of malfunctions has noticeably decreased, the manufacturer has clearly done work on the bugs. But all the same, many problems remained because the design has not changed. Avio owners can easily face serious and costly breakdowns. A high quality and complete repair of the 6T30 costs 130,000 rubles. The main source of the 6T30-6T40 are the short resource of the Mechatron, solenoid control unit located in the pan, and its valves, 
as well as the destruction of the retaining rings of the brake drums of higher gears, starting from the third. All these time bombs usually work after 100,000 kilometers, but sometimes they don't waiting for 50,000 kilometers. A malfunction of the Mectron board and solenoids most often leads to the combustion of clutch packs. This is evidenced by jerks that appear during switching. According to experts involved in the repair of these machines, the Mechatron board is damaged due to the accumulation of wear products on its contacts. Therefore, it is advisable to change the oil in the unit at least every 450 so kilometer. When repairing an automatic machine, the Mechatron can sometimes be restored, but the solenoids are always updated by default. The destruction of the retaining rings of the brake drums is also accompanied by the appearance of jerks when shifting gears. It is important not to miss this moment. Fragments of the rings can get into the teeth of the planetary gears and kill other parts of the box. In this case, the repair will not be economically feasible. The atmospheric gasoline engine 1.6, 115 horsepower, belongs to the F1604 series. It has no fundamental differences from the engines of this family, which are equipped with more successful and older AVO counterparts, including the Chevrolet Rus and Opel Astra H. The mechanical part of the F16D4 does not suffer from serious sores, the base is quite reliable and has a decent resource. Attachments spoil the good reputation of iron. By the time the Avio TZ00 appeared, the manufacturer had partially reduced the number of annoying misses, but did not eradicate them completely. By about 100,000 kilometers, phase shifters are surrendered. In some cases, they begin to rattle distinctly in the first seconds after starting a cold engine but more often the engine malfunction lamp signals their wear. GM motors are sensitive to even small phase mismatches. Although clutches are changed less frequently on Avio than, for example, on Cruz. Phase shifters may also work incorrectly due to clogged filters on their control solenoids. The manufacturer even carried out a service campaign that involved removing filters for free. However, solenoids, like phase shifters, have a limited resource, and usually they are changed together. The declared service life of the timing belt is 150,000 kilometers, but servicemen recommend reducing the interval to 100,000 to 120,000 kilometers. When replacing the belt, it is important to use a special tool to fix the camshafts. Very often, negligent servicemen break the plastic master rings on the camshafts, on which their position sensors work. This causes a bunch of errors to appear, which makes it difficult to find the root cause. The consolation is that the rings are available as separate parts. A common sore is a leaking coolant pump. Usually it surrenders to 100,000 kilometers. It is important not to miss the moment of a leak and not bring the engine to overheat due to a significant loss of antifreeze. This leads to a quick failure of other elements of the cooling system, which already do not shine with the resource. There are various problems with the electronic thermostat and its environment. Sometimes its plastic body warps or even cracks which leads to significant antifreeze leaks. In both cases, the body has to be changed. The antifreeze temperature sensor located on top of the termitate body often fails. Because of this, a lot of error signals appear, which may indicate a malfunction of other engine systems. This sensor is available as a separate spare part. A failed fan switch sensor will have to be replaced as an assembly with the thermostat housing. Usually the check engine light will come on. The pipes of the cooling system leading to the stove live a little. Usually they are replaced closer to 100,000 kilometers. The gaskets of the heat exchanger, which cools the engine oil with antifreeze, often leak. And on the machines of the first batches, the oil pressure sensors were massively changed, through which the liquid flowed in a stream. Another old sore of the F16D4 motor is the ignition module. Individual coils are built into a single ramp, and if one of them fails, you have to change the assembly. This usually happens on a run of 70,000 to 80,000 kilometers. Generators are often repaired on Avio, in some cases, due to bearing noise, in others, due to lack of charging. True, it is mostly older cars with a range of 100,000 kilometers that suffer from this. Engine mounts are distinguished by a small resource. The lower one is surrendered first, and then the upper one. Usually both supports do not live up to 100,000 kilometers. The mechanical 5-speed gearbox of the D16 series bothers only with frequent leaks of drive oil seals. This sore appears mainly in the off-season, with a strong temperature drop. Otherwise, it is a reliable unit with the high resource of the main elements.
it is advisable to change the oil about the box at least once every 100,000 kilometers in order to guarantee its service life. The procedure involves removing the pallet, there is no drain plug in it, so do not be surprised at the high price for the work. When inspecting the interior of a used avio, first of all, pay attention to the condition of the steering wheel sheathing, it is one of the first to surrender. Quite quickly overridden buttons, gear selector knob and seat upholstery. One of the sores of many GM models, including the Avio, is the short life of the driver's seat cushion heating element. Usually he does not live up to 100,000 kilometers, fortunately, the element is available as a separate spare part, and its replacement will cost same money. Many interior trim elements noticeably lose their marketable appearance by 100,000 kilometers. This trend is common to mass models of the GM concern. Based on the condition of the interior of a used Avio, it is quite easy to determine the actual mileage of a car. There are common cases when a cable jumps off the washer regulator of the direction of air flow on the control panel of the ventilation system. Most often this happens in winter. To put the cable back on, you need to remove the panel and thread it into the mechanism guides on the back of the washer. Chevrolet Avio occupies a special place in its segment. On the one hand, it lags far behind the class leaders in terms of consumer qualities in the face of the three best sellers Rio slash Solarii slash Polo sedan, being practically in the last positions. On the other hand, this is why Avio gets a price advantage. A fresh car in good condition and with a transparent history is 100,000 to 150,000 rubles cheaper than the competitors mentioned. This is a significant difference, and therefore Avio is famous for its good liquidity. All Avio modifications are well indulged, except that hatchbacks hang for a long time on car showrooms. The car has only two trim levels with a slight difference in the number of additional options. Therefore, buyers look first of all at the condition of the car. Versions with mechanics and with a gun are in approximately the same demand. I recommend buying an Avio with a sedan body and a manual gearbox, since there are a lot of technical complaints about the machine. The price tag should not exceed 400,000 rubles. The ideal option is a fresh car manufactured in 2013 to 2014 for 350,000 rubles. With a subsequent sale in a couple of years, such an instance will practically not lose in price. When choosing a car, carefully study its history. There are enough Avio from taxi companies on the market. Chevrolet Avio suffers from annoying childhood sores, although to a lesser extent than older GM counterparts. When choosing a used car, avoid modifications with an automatic transmission, its repair will be very expensive. Otherwise, even with an abundance of possible malfunctions, the maintenance of Avio will not be too burdensome, although it will spoil your nerves notably.